Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun. In this video, I'm going to continue my little series on making chess pieces for my chessboard here. Uh, this video, we're going to be doing the knights. You're going to need four of these guys, and we're going to be carving them out of a solid block of basswood here. Now, what you guys are going to need is a one by one by two inch piece of basswood, a pencil to make marks on the wood with, and your preferred whittling knife. Now I'll also have a picture on the left hand side of the screen over here which will show you what the current step is that we're on. So let's get started here. Now the first thing that I like to do is start about two thirds of the way down from the top on um, two sides, so this side and the mirrored side and just do a, a sweep and cut all the way up to the top. What this is going to do is create the quick side profile of the horse. You're going to make it kind of skinny. You don't want to go all the way in uh, just maybe about that much. That's all you're going to need to do. Do the same thing to the other side and make it about as even as you can make it. There we go. That's pretty good right there. And then the next step is to start shaving off the top part of the head and making cuts for underneath the, the front of the face and where the mane is going to come down. So what I like to do first is start on the back of the head area, make a quick cut upwards, and then cut across here. This is going to start shaping the top of the head. And then what I'm going to do here is start cutting the top of the face. So bring it in a little bit there. Now this part doesn't have to be perfect yet, since you still have a good chunk of wood here, um, it's going to be a little bit harder to cut, so just be patient with it. We're going to trim this down a little bit further uh, later on, and then we'll detail it out. So it's a quick rough outline, probably bring this one a little bit further back. There we go, that's good right there. And then just a little bit down below where you made the top of the nose, we're going to do a push cut in and then do a little wedge cut right there. And you can bring this front down to about where you have these, uh, the two third part, uh, two thirds um, starting point they did on the, on the sides. There you go. So that's basically the front of the horse's head. And then on the back side, we're not going to cut it all the way up to the top. What we're going to do is start from the same point that we had made earlier um, down here and do a very small little wedge cut. This is just going to define the base of the mane for the horse. So now you have your basic outline for your horse. Now if you want to as well, you can take out these little corners here so it's a little bit easier on your hand. You don't have a sharp pointy uh, block of the wood going into your hand. It makes it more comfortable to hold on to. And now from here, what I like to do is start tapering it down a little bit because now I can see where I have the outlines are. I know where certain parts of the head need to be. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start from the back over here. I can see where the mane is. So I'll kind of taper it in towards the mane and then taper it up towards the, the ears a little and then a little bit towards the, the muzzle. So it's going to be kind of a rounded shape going along. You don't want to cut this all the way down to the, the tip because I'll do it right now. What I usually like to do is just flatten off the front. You don't want to go too far back. I just like to take a little chunk right here and just make a little flat part of the nose. There we go. Just keep rounding this off a little bit. And make sure you do it to the other side. Make sure you're keeping it symmetrical so you don't have the horse head leaning to one side or the other. All right, simple horse head right there, basic shape going. And then what we're going to do right now is take this square block and kind of round it off. So we're going to be kind of cutting off the, the corners like kind of like that on all sides. So we're not exactly taking a whole bunch off. We're just going to be knocking off these corners here. 
That way we have more of a, a peg shape going around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just round it off. Matter of fact, if you want to see it, none of my knights look exactly the same. They're all different. So don't expect yours to look all exactly the same. You're going to make it slightly different each go around. And that's perfectly fine. All right, that's good. Now we have our basic rough outline of our horse. If you wanted to, you can probably take this in a little bit further. I'm going to do that right now. Just want to further define the, the head. There we go. A little bit more defined. Now what we're going to do is go around and kind of taper in the the neck all the way around at about the this line that we had originally made and just make it kind of like a round cone going up towards the neck so see this one's a decent one you can see where i have it kind of rounded up but it's leaving enough material there for the the muzzle or not the muzzle the mane so it kind of tapers up and then it's kind of like you just have a, a horse head on top of the cone. So I'm kind of going to stop with the mane right about here. All right, so let's round it off. I already made the line going around. So I'm going to start at that line and just go up. And then when I get up to the line, I'm just going to go go along it. Pull out my detail knife for this part here. Let's make a little cut around and remove that stuff. All right, now from here we're going to start shaping the the mane out a little bit and the face. I usually like to start off with the mane. Uh, I'll start angling the the mane and just tapering it in a little bit. It doesn't have to go all the way down to where I have it. Um, just cut it to where you feel like you want it like like I was saying all of mine are a little bit different like that one tapers down right into the the back this one kind of sticks out a little bit um, same with this guy right here just however you want to do it and for me since I have to make four of these and along with a whole bunch of other different uh, pieces uh, I like to make it as simple as possible that way I have time to do all the other ones Although it's going to take you a long time to do it. There we go. And then for this, I'm going to angle the bottom of the jaw and just the hair. And I'm going to taper the, the head in a little bit here. Not too much, though. Let's taper the head in a little bit. Now that I have the head tapered in, do the same thing to the back of the muzzle, but make sure you're not taking too much of this area right here, which is where the ears are going to be. We're just going to make some simple ears. So just tapering the, the mane a little bit. And then I'm going to take the, the muzzle and kind of sweep it up towards the ears a little bit more since I have less material to work with. Kind of like a sweeping cut straight up. That way I have a little bit of a definition for the face. There we go. Bring this in a little bit here. There. Now that you have a little bit of a shape on the face, we're just going to do a quick little V-cut. Might have had that one a little bit too far apart, but now it looks good. Quick and easy ears. And just go and Doot, taper them in just a little bit on the sides. There we go. And from here you can go ahead and smooth everything out if you want. Alright, and then this point, what I like to do is kind of taper the, the jawline in. Because horses, they don't have like a flowing neck there. So what I'm going to do is take it and define the horse's jawline right about there. Do a little wedge cut. There we 
There we go. Now we can get the outline of the horse's head. I take taper this in a little bit here so it matches the cone on the bottom a little bit. Very nice and simple. You don't need to get too crazy with it. Do the same thing to the other side. See if you can do it about the same height here. Quick and easy little detail to define the head. And then here you can taper this down a little bit more if you want. Your call. I think this is the part that I, all of my uh, knights look a little bit different on is just how I did the main. All right. Now that we have this mostly outlined here, I'm going to use my pencil and start outlining the bottom of the base here. Now you can see how I have it set up where it's kind of a little cone going on here and then it winds up to the base of the head. You'll notice I have a little section here and here where it's not coming down to a fine point. I like to angle it back a little bit, have more of a flat surface there so it's less brittle. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to outline right there. This is representative of this lip right here. And then we're going to do about right here for the next lip. And then just a little bit above that. That is going to signify the top of this lip. So this line is this lip. This next lip right here is the middle section. And then this part right here is the top here. And I'm just going <clears> to <throat> draw this all the way around. Now I got my lines set up there. I'm going to start from the bottom and go towards the top. I'm going to make the stop cut all the way around on the middle line. This is going to be the base of uh, one of the platforms there. And then I'm going to start working my way up from this line to that stop cut there. I don't need to break it free just yet. Then I'm going to go around and cut off that excess. So I'm going to go around and put a little bit more emphasis on that stop cut I made. And I'll allow the, the wood to come off pretty easily. Go and clean this up a little bit. And there you go. It's kind of like a little skirt going all the way around now. Clean it up a little bit and we'll move on to the next step. All right, then from here, we have that second line that we already made. This is just basically, we're gonna bring it, taper it all the way up. Let's go around, smooth it out, make it look more like a cone going all the way up. And we will be done with that part. All right, so there you go, a quick, simple night. And the last step I usually like to take is angle these portions back a little bit because it helps, at least with mine, helps the stain um, that I put on there adhere to it and it allows the, uh, allows the stain to penetrate the, the wood a little bit easier. Uh, this can be solved by sanding it if you don't want to angle it back. Totally your call. Do it however you want. There we go. At this stage you can either clean it up a little bit more with the, your knife, smooth it out if you want, you can use sandpaper to smooth it out, completely your call. But for the purpose of the video, I think I'm going to call it done right about here. You can add all the extra details if you so wish, but not absolutely necessary. I think that's good. I'm going to clean this up right here and we'll get to the next step. Now that is done, we're going to start adding some of the finishes on here. Like if I have these two right here at the ponds, I'm going to be using a wood stain for uh, two of the knights, and then I'm going to be using beeswax paste for the other two. These are going to um, give me the two different colors of light and darks. So we're going to do these two as lights and these two as darks. The beeswax paste is pretty simple. Just take some, put it on your finger, and just smear it all over your, your knights. You can be pretty liberal with it. You don't need to skimp on it at all. Just put it in there, massage it in like lotion, and let it sit for a minute or two. And you just buff it off. And then when you got all your beeswax 
put on there and buffed off. Just put that off to the side. And then we're going to start working on the wood finish. For this one, I am going to be using a dark, dark walnut stain, which is just pretty easy to do. I'm only going to do one layer of it. You don't really need much at all. Just a basic stain will get the job done. Uh, make sure you put on some gloves. Shake your, your wood stain. And then open her up. So all we're going to do is just take a little cloth, dip it in there, and then just smear it on there. Put it on there pretty thick if you want. Don't you don't have to be you know, you don't have to skimp with it. Just apply that stuff on there. Let it sit for a little bit. This stuff is pretty uh, fast drying. At least the one that I had. This is the Minwax one. Um, just let it sit for two to four hours and it should be done. Make sure you get up in the crevices in there. All right. And when you have your horses all done, just let it sit off to the side for a little bit, and you're all good. Now I'm going to be doing the rest of the, these pieces here too on the on the series. So as you can see in the corner there, I have, uh, let me get this glove off here, I have Bishop all uh, modeled out and the, the castles of rooks all set up. I already did the pond, so if you want to check those out, have at it. But if you liked the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have yourself a great day.